action formulation technique. We're gonna practice it, we're gonna go through the sequence, we're gonna go through all of the steps, and we're gonna work together to get that done so you have a strong sense of how to do this, and you're gonna see how simple it is and how powerful it is as well. You've been talking to me about how uh, you're concerned about your son being able to graduate in time next year, and um, I've learned about this uh, method of asking questions or formulating questions for parents uh, to advocate for their children. So I thought we could go through the process today of um, thinking about questions to ask and having you be more prepared when you go to the guidance counselor um, at, the, at the high school. So the topic today would be um, your son doesn't have enough credits to graduate next year. That's the first question that comes to mind. What can he do? Okay to ensure he graduates. Okay. He goes to an alternative high school, so is that the issue? Why he was told he couldn't, mm -hmm. who else could I talk to other than uh -huh. guidance? Yeah. Your child might be held back in the same grade for one more year. Three minutes, please. Will there be a different teacher? And what could you do to prevent it? When did they realize that this might be an option? Like, this might happen? What did you learn? I'm gonna go a different route. Yeah. Sometimes you have to go above mm -hmm. to get answers instead right. of just being told no. Right. Because um, there has to be options. Yeah. And there's gotta be another way. So that's yeah. my. Yeah. How do you feel? Better. Because now I know who to contact and oh. what questions to well, ask. All right. To go totally on emotion, but make sure that you go through those questions before you walk in. I think I can do do it this way, that way I can help him out more. When I go to the meeting, then I know what can I ask, you know, and how can I ask and when. Yo pienso que ninguna pregunta es simple para nosotras por la tranquilidad de, de, la, de la mamá y que tu niño esté con el mejor bienestar en la escuela. For parents to formulate their own questions is extremely important because I'm not going to be there with them all the time. I'm not going to be able to hand them a, a list of questions. They know what is in their hearts. They know their children better than anyone else. Um, they can, even though they may not think that they know what questions to ask, they have them in them. We cycle parents through these open houses and these parent conferences. You literally have 15 minutes. You better use it right, you know? So if you have as a parent, some mental preparation to come in, to sit down and be prepared so real, to really get at what you want, you're in great shape. This was a nice beginning piece to really have this, the relationship building take off. Yo pienso que es importante para los padres um, saber hacer las preguntas correctas porque estamos hablando de la educación de nuestros hijos, de, del futuro de nuestros hijos. I got an IEP for my son. Um, both of them, and now that I have some more information about asking questions, um, I think I don't always know what to ask in those meetings. There's like five people in front of you. Now I feel more empowered um, to ask um, more detailed questions.